Hello, uh, today I am going to be showing you how to install the Creative Cloud and how to install the apps that come along with it. So this is the Adobe website. This is where you can pick your plan, uh, pay for it, uh, sign up for everything that you need to do here. So once you have uh, paid for your plan, uh, you've signed up, everything's good, you will then be taken to this page. So this is your hub. This is where you'll be able to see what programs you have uh, access to. This is where you'll be able to download everything that you need. So to start with, you need the Creative Cloud, this one right here. You need this because this is essentially an app version of the website you're seeing right now. Uh, it acts as your opening piece of software. So everything is stored in the Creative Cloud. Um, it's where you can access everything that you need to. So first of all, you want to click download. You'll get to, you'll come to this page and it will save a creative cloud setup.exe. Once this is downloaded, you can open it and go into files, into your downloads. To initiate the installation process, all you need to do is double click this up. I'm not going to do it just yet because I already have the creative cloud installed, but it will essentially open up where you can start the installation process. Uh, you will sign in, uh, it will, it might ask you a couple of questions about your uh, usage of the creative apps. So in most apps, you'll essentially just be agreeing to the license. It will then ask you where you want it saved. So for Mac, it, it won't ask this, but Windows, you can save it obviously to your C drive or your D drive. Uh, it'll ask this question for you. Once this is finished installing, you will be able to open it and it will look something like this. As I said, this looks very similar to the website that we saw already, if we just go back. So this is what the website looks like. And then this is what the app looks like. So as you can see, I've already got multiple uh, softwares installed. Uh, so anything that's installed will come at the top here under install. Anything that you have in your plan that you want to install will pop up here in the available in your plan tab. Um, so essentially, all you need to do to install these is just click install. It will run the installation process. You won't have to agree to any more licenses because you've already done that. Um, and then it will pop up right here and you can press open. You generally don't need to set anything else up. It won't ask you for any more license agreements because you've already agreed to that at the beginning when you installed the Creative Cloud app. So once uh, everything's installed, it'll come to this tab and you can click open here and it'll start opening the uh, piece of software for you. Like this, it'll come up with a little little tab here uh, with a copyright, Creative Cloud, the name of the software, just setting it up here. So it'll then open like this for you. Um, if it's the first time you've opened the app like it is for me here, it'll come up with these sort of things like giving you uh, tips and tricks on how to use it, that kind of thing. Uh, but if you want to look at them, you can, but you can just click new project and there you go. So if we come back to here, under available your plan, you will have a little section called apps to try. Now, if you remember when you were setting it up, uh, setting up your account, you will probably have been asked what kind of software you're using, what you're using them for, and your um, experience level with them, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, expert, that kind of thing. Uh, but generally, this is how they work out apps to try, uh, but it also does depend on the uh, apps you use frequently. Um, so at the moment I am using a lot of uh, 3D tools. So I've got a lot of 3D things being suggested here. Uh, one more thing I do want to add, Camera Raw. This piece of software here is not something that you can uninstall because it essentially um, encodes or allows your home computer to be able to read raw files. That's why it's called Camera Raw. So this is this comes with anything that you download. Um, usually when you download the Creative Cloud Desktop app, uh, it'll come straight away with that because you need it to be able to read raw files. So if you ever have any issues uh, reading raw files, uh, there is there, there could be something to do with the Camera Raw. Uh, this does update. If any of your pieces of software need updates, it will say it here. Instead of open, it will say update and it will run the update for you if you click it. Uh, generally, if you need an update, it will be at the top of the list of programs you have installed. Uh, as you can see here, all of mine are up to date because it does tell you here. 
Um, but yeah, I'll give you a status here as well if you need to update anything. Uh, but that is essentially how you install the Creative Cloud, how you install things like Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, After Effects, all of these great things. Um, it's really, really simple and easy to do. Um, but I wish you good luck in whatever you are creating. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.